the overview effect. It's when the astronaut uh, literally looks down on the space uh, or, or on the earth from space. Now, a lot of the stuff we've, we've seen this recently in the news with uh, Jeff Bezos and these billionaires trying to get here to, to, to do that. And we, that's a whole nother podcast. So I, I don't really want to get into all that kind of stuff. But um, what, if, if you really, I mean, you've kind of, I talked about it, what films, Doom or Optimism, what can these things do? But for me, what I wanted to ask you is this uh, kind of overview effect question of what you would say to the world if you were kind of experiencing this is, is for me, I think what you and Joe and a lot of these people reassess our kind of like lens is to um, reintegrate what it is, a place, et cetera, to us is what is the least common denominator? Now, I know that's very cliche and I know that's very like, you know, you can get into categorization and, and compartmentalization and stuff. But really for me, it's like, I, I think that inception is like, each, if, if we really want to get down to it, the lowest common denominator is each individual human. We have seven, eight billion people on the planet. Well, if you get down to it, we're all just human. So then what, right. are the th what are the practical kind of things, advice that you would give to people of all stripes of life, not just in the United States, not just in India, but, you know, maybe some random mechanic in Sweden or, you know, a <laughs> bicyclist in Brazil uh, that, that kind of cuts through uh, the scale, the family, the culture, the industry, the government, the bullshit, the labels that we put on ourselves. So I, I guess I, I will leave this as your parting words, if you will, uh, for this uh, of what kind of practical advice, what kind of things that you, you would say? Yeah, so I think it's really um, key, and, and this, my travel really helped me with this, like to see, um, you know, a lot of us are striving for the same kinds of things. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we, we want connection, we, we, we want um, self-determination or, or freedom, you know, we want um, some sort of meaningful livelihood um and we want uh, you know connection with nature and 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 i guess peace with that comes right. with that and right. i think um i think i get I, to me like the the thing that keeps coming up for me is this concept of interdependence the the mm. ways in which we are all dependent on one another um is really like a like both a, a black pill and a white pill. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's so, them, yeah. it's so, yeah, it's yeah. so beautiful, but also like so terrifying really, because I think we're, we're you know, what happens with one of the students I had, um, we're talking with this, with one of the students who came to Uruguay, we're talking with the, the farmer, my, my friend Paola, and she's talking about Monsanto and the destruction it's caused in Uruguay. And she was like, and the, the student was like, my dad does like all the IT systems for Monsanto. Mm. And it was like, yeah, like your dad is, I mean, he's just a cog in a wheel, right? And, you know, he's just building the systems. It's not really deciding what the systems do, but, you know, what he's doing there in wherever, I think San Francisco is impacting this Paola, this woman in Uruguay, and many other people around the world, that's the black bill, you know, yeah. just like the, the ways in which our, 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 I think it's really important to think about when, in a global society, the ways in which our, our choices or, you know, the, what, what we do in life impact others, yeah. um, which is overwhelming. And I think that's the doomer part. The white, the white pill part is um, what we really need to get out of this is what we, what we want anyways. You know, a lot of people just want, it's not a hard sell. Like the, the kind of future that I'm trying to sell, it's like good on so many different levels. <laughs> I right, mean, it's right, right. good. It's like, it's pleasant. It's nice. You feel connected. You feel belonging. You, you, it, it's, it's meaningful. You're producing something um, that also makes you feel good. Like there's, you have friends you have community, you, you know, that this is what we're striving for. It's, it's gonna, it's hard to move from that to this, you know, right, it's hard right. to move from externality. I don't really know or care how my actions impact other people in the world toward, um, you know, how can I become more interdependent and build this world that I want to live in for myself right. and for all the other people. And when you realize like, there's really no way to do it by yourself, um, it's both scary and freeing, you know, yes, where you're just yes. like, I can't do this alone. Like I, there's no way to do it alone. So better get out there and start figuring out like, who are my allies and who am I, who can I work with to, 
to make this thing happen because I, there, I have no other choice really. And that, that is a, a good and important thing too, to just like recognize that having no other choice is, um, is an inevitability. Um, it's liberating yeah. for one, one thing it's like, it gets back to that doomer optimism. It's like, well, if you got to feel some, some type of way, you might as well feel yeah. that, that type of yeah, way. You know? Yeah, exactly. And so you have really, and then, and then, you know, I think just taking that knowledge with, with responsibility, like the, it's my responsibility yeah. now to just kind of make, the, make this world I want to live in, not just for myself or my own kids or my own family, but for everybody around me, um, because I'm not going to do this. So I'm not going to be able to do this alone. Um, and kind of being intuitive and, and um, respectful in that act of co-creation. Like I said before, it's like, it's very um, messy and awkward. It's going yep. to be messy and awkward and that's okay. It's not going to be pure, um, but it is, it is going to at least move us toward where we want to be. It's not going to be perfect. We might not even get where we want to be in our lifetimes, but we're going to be better off at the end of the lifetime than we were before. We'll, we'll have made strides in the right direction and that is literally all you could do. So um, yeah, that, that'll be, that'll be my parting words. <laughs>